I'm here with David Gooden, a grower from Lockhart. We're just going to have a quick chat about some of the decisions he uh, went through when he purchased a new spray rig. So Dave, with this machine, what were some of the things you considered when you were buying it, some of the most important factors for you? Well, the key decision was trying to buy something for the future. We wanted something with a bit of ground clearance, so we could be doing something later in crop. We wanted something that would give us the ability to apply high water rates at different rates of over a range of speeds, over a range of droplet sizes. And finally, um, with a good service and backup, we wanted to make sure we had someone who was able to do that. Yep. So the spray system that you went with on this machine, what's it fitted with? It's fitted with 3TS, rapid fire and recirculation. We spaced our nozzles at 25 centimetre spacings to allow better coverage. And the important thing with rapid fire and recirculation, so it allows us to apply chemicals um, over a large speed range and with different water rates. And it also allows us to recirculate our chemical before we get to the field, so we're not having to charge up the lines uh, before, we start an opera before we start a paddock. Any other functions on it or features you sort of, when you were weighing up your decisions, you thought, oh, that's a good idea, I, I like that? So fuel use was a consideration, so overall fuel use. So the machine we've got is a two wheel drive, um, direct drive machine, automatic, so fuel use is quite low, fuel consumption is low. Uh, we wanted good service and good backup. So we wanted to deal with someone who knows about the whole system and can fix the problems when they occur. When, when you purchased this machine, how wide did you end up going with the boom? It's a 41 metre boom. It matches with our control traffic system. So we multiples of 13.5 metres. So we have a little bit of overlap. And you think that's, that's an important thing for other people to consider when they're buying machines, how that sort of fits into the farming system and all your other equipment? Absolutely. When going to control traffic matching, the spray is an important part of, of matching your machinery. And so with this machine, how long do you reckon you'll keep it before you change it? Oh, maybe six years, so three or four thousand hours, roughly. So it seems to me that you spent a lot of time doing research and doing a, a bit of homework before you actually bought this machine, David. That's right, yeah. We've a lot of work into trying to come up with a system that suited our operation and our needs and requirements to make it more efficient and effective when we go out and spray. And I think that's a take home message for, for all growers is that to do your homework and a bit of research about what sort of machine is going to suit your farming system. To think about the factors, some of the things that David talked about, obviously service, speed range, volume, how it fits into the future, into the farming system. They're all really important, so it means that the machine that suits David may not be the same machine that's suitable for your farm.